All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James hanging out with Nikki and Nels. They just won the two million subscribers giveaway. Just flew in from LA last night to Guangzhou, China, the land of dim sum and Cantonese food. And today, we're going for a full-on Cantonese street food adventure. You guys pumped? Woo, so, so excited. excited. Food, yeah. Let's go check it out. So today is gonna be a full-on street food adventure, guys. First up, we're going for Cantonese dim sum. We have multiple things to eat today. We're gonna be going for Chinese changfen rice noodle rolls, barbecue pork, and roast goose. We've got tons of desserts. We've got some late <laughs> night street foods, and it's a ton of fun. But right up here, first thing, it's gonna be, of course, dim sum. Oh, yes. huh? So excited. <laughs> so here it is, dim do duck. Best dim sum in Guangzhou, right here. And we're gonna be getting all the classics, hagao, chicken feet, all of the delicious stuff. And this is the first dim do duck in Guangzhou. What we walked into was nothing short of dim sum heaven. We're taking you for a massive feast of hagao shrimp dumplings, siu mai pork dumplings, signature red rice wrap shrimp rolls with crispy yotiao, two types of chicken feet, rice porridge, barbecue pork buns, molten egg custard buns, durian puffs, and more. Let's eat. Oh, yes, Jenny. This is my favorite. Wow. Just look at this dim sum. So let's just go right in. Okay. I think I think for you guys, for the first bite of food in China, it's gotta be the Hong Mi Chang right here. That right there is the ultimate dim sum you have to taste. And we gotta dip it in to that peanut sauce. Go right ahead, try it out. This is gonna, oh, this is, this is just the definition of joy. Bye -bye. Cheers, guys. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Ooh. What do you think of that? That shrimp is so good. Look at that. Crunch in there. Oh my gosh, yeah. You like that? It's like soft and crispy and plump all at once. And next up, we had to taste the steamed chicken feet in a black bean sauce, the feng zhao. So you can see the real secret is the fluffy skin and the fatty collagen. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mmm. What do you think? There's mm. a little kick in it. That's really nice. Mm. You can taste the chili in there. Wow. This might be the best chicken feet I've had. <laughs> they might be. Yeah. I think, so. I think so. They definitely are. What's up, guys? We gotta try these liu sha bao molten egg custard buns, and it's all on the inside. The magic, juicy molten egg. Let's. Oh, oh. Isn't that creamy? Not. Oh, oh. Yeah. Wow. Oh jeez. Look at that. Let's try it out. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh, it's leaking. Mm. Whoa. Oh yeah. Oh, I was not expecting that flavor. <laughs> it's just like the custard filled my mouth. It was, it's warm and sweet, but like creamy, mm. not heavy though. Oh yeah. High five. This is awesome. How was that, guys? It was so good. It was like a dream. That was just amazing. Fantastic introduction to China. I can't believe that was our first meal. Beautiful. And we've got so many places to bring you guys today. Let's keep going. And next up, we're going for Changfen, the ultimate Chinese rice noodle roll. And today, we're bringing our guests for the most plump and satisfying rolls in the restaurant. So it's an action-packed day today. We're taking Nikki and Nels down through the old alleyways of Guangzhou and right up ahead we're going into the old streets for some Changfen rice noodle rolls with pork and beef and egg really delicious made on a cloth Bula Chang style it's gonna be really good and next up guys Ni hao chu lao ban hao jie bu jian Next up, guys, Changfen. Bu Bula Chang. Bula Chang. So, this is Chu Laoban, Boss Chu. Ah. And he's been open for many years. Ni kai le jinian. 
Liu Shiyi. So he's been open 61 years here. Liu Shiyi. Liu Shiyi. Wow, it's a 61 year old joint, and this is it right in here. Need a bula chang. And chuming. And we're gonna order the classic with egg, pork, and beef, and it's really good. Let's go take a look. So this is it right here. You can see we've got these rice flour rolls that are steamed on top of a cloth over here and they put a bunch of different ingredients on top. Okay, here we go. Look at that, guys, there. That is the sticky rice flour. And we're laying it down over top of a cloth and putting delicious pork mixture on, an egg and shrimp, and then steaming it. It's called bula chang because it's on a cloth. There's a couple different ways you can make this chang pen. One of them is in a metal tray, steamed, and this way is over top of a a cloth steam and it goes right in that bowl just covered in that oil and soy sauce and this is the classic dish of Canton look at this we've got that steamed rice flour oh and look on the inside we've got those shrimp there's an egg and then that pork mixture with that light soy sauce oh wow and of course I think in this one the real winner is this little bit of a spicy bean paste on top there it is guys oh let's try it out Mmm. Mm. Oh, that's fantastic, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's good with the egg. I just got the egg in there. Wow. Like a light soy sauce, spicy with that bean paste. And then I love this is this is really just an upgraded deluxe changfen because they put so much in there. So that is just only on the streets of Guangzhou. <laughs> the pure changfen. You have to come to Guangzhou to taste it this level. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, wasn't that awesome? Yeah, that was so good. Really good. And next up, we're bringing our guests for the most succulent roast goose and barbecue pork in Guangzhou. What do you guys think of Guangzhou so far? It's amazing. There's so much to see. Yeah. It's super cool, right? It's been amazing. And we're in a local little herbs and Chinese medicine market right up ahead for the next food. We're gonna go get some Chinese char siu barbecue pork oh my and gosh. some roast goose. <laughs> That's gonna be amazing. Let's go try it out, guys. And here it is, guys. Famous, famous Cantonese barbecue pork and roast goose. Oh yeah, look at that. Whoa. Look at that, we got two goose getting chopped. Oh, oh look at all the juice. Oh wow, look at that. Look at the juice bursting. Oh, look at these big packages. Yeah. Did you see? Oh! Did you see what that guy did? Look at that. Tai <laughs> So we just got the triple treasure box combo <laughs> of chashio, siung, uh, barbecue pork, and roast goose. And you can see in the back, it's just full on chopping, glistening roast <laughs> goose and barbecue pork. And she just totally loaded up the juicy goodness here. Let's just see what's in this first treasure box. Let's open it up and take a look. Oh. Oh man, I'm so excited. Oh, it's just like a, a Christmas gift. Oh, pop it open. Okay. Let's see. Chashio or goose? Oh, oh, it's goose. Look at that goose. Wow, isn't that amazing? So we've got two different sauces, guys. We've got one Chinese plum sauce, and then this is the goose drippings. Oh, wow. We've got pure oh, goose cool. drippings here. Nikki, do you want to pour both of those on? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Nikki, do you want to pour just this this goose drippings on okay. and we'll have a little bit of plum sauce on the side? Okay. It's like so oily. <laughs> this is the pure magic just right here. Just pour all of that just on. Just pour all those goose drippings all over. Oh. Mm. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, this is insane. Oh. Wow. Whoa. And now let's just pour that plum. It's like a watery plum but just maybe a bit there that we can, oh. Pour it on? Okay, pour a little and, then, and then pour a little bit all over the goose too. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Life is good, isn't it? <laughs> this is it, guys, the first roast goose in China. You're gonna spoil us for Yeah, let's try it out. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, Ooh. whoa. That skin is 
so juicy. It's so fatty. It's so fatty. Yeah, it's beautiful. That it's was... just glistening with the juices and the fat. Mm. It was the most juicy bite of goose I've ever had. Look at how it's completely saturated. Okay, next up, we gotta try the chashu barbecue pork. Nikki, you wanna open that up? Let's yeah. take a look. Oh, oh, oh wow. my goodness, look at that. And we got two different cuts. And of course, we know which one we're going for, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's take that fattiness. Oh, huge oh, layer wow. of fat. Ooh. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at the glistening fatty. They're running down this one too. Oh, yes. Oh yes, guys. We're so happy to have you guys out eating in China, yeah. <laughs> tasting this good stuff. This is an honor. Cheers. <laughs> oh. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That just melts the moment you put it in your Whoa. mouth. Oh. And I love how there's a bit of a slight secret, almost honey-like sauce oh, on the yeah. skin. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> Oh, this is just fat. That is, I'm excited for this. Oh yeah, I was just about to say this one is just fat. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> this That's is so much fun. Fat. This is so much fun eating together. <laughs> oh, mm. pure fat, mm -hmm. pure delight. So good. Mm. Almost like honey. Yeah, it's like you ate the best chashu butter, or just like melts in your mouth. So we've just tried both, and Nels and Nikki, what were your favorites? I honestly like them both the same. They're so They're just good. so yeah. good, okay. yeah. Really good. I think yeah. that this might be my favorite. This is gorgeous, the skin is just amazing. Yeah, I was leaning towards that, but that that honey flavor on that is just so good too. Yeah. It's better than almost any Thanksgiving turkey I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> really good. And next up, we're bringing Nikki and Nels for some classic Cantonese pig foot noodles. And of course, pork intestine noodles too. So next up, we're in the deep alleyways of Guangzhou and we're bringing you to try a famous wonton noodle joint. But here, they've got the pig foot noodles. Ni hao. Ni hao. Oh, hando mian. <laughs> check this out, guys. So, oh, check this out. Hendo mian tiao. So you can get, these are egg noodles, and they've got a bunch of different braised sauces down here. Ju shou zai nali. Oh, and this is the pig foot right in here. And we're just gonna, oh yeah, look at that. It's all about the gelatin. Look at that. Hen, hen randa. Look at those. Oh, hi, piao liang la. Xie xie ni. Oh, Raho Jugga Shen Yu Lan Ma. Oh, and this is the beef brisket. Raho Nega Shen Shen Ma. Oh, Za Jiang. Za Jiang. Wow. And then we've also got the. Oh, this is Jugga Shen Fei Chang Ma. Whoa, crazy. Jie Shen Ni. And you can see all of these dried egg noodles here. You can get these as well. Take them to go and cook them up. But we're here to eat and we're gonna place our order. And here comes the sauce. Oh, jigga shi nyu lan ma. Whoa, look at that jelly like pig's foot. Oh, and here they come, guys. Xie xie ni. Oh, Guangzhou te se mian. Fantastic. Yi fu mian. Ju chang da. Ju chang. So we've got the pork intestine. Oh, nyu lan. Tai mei la. And we've got the beef brisket. And then what we came here for, the beautiful oh, so good. pig foot noodles. Oh. So this one right here really looks delicious with those juicy intestines, braised juicy pork intestines. And you can really smell that. It's, it's just like a, a rich gravy, right? Oh, we can, yeah. The whole gravy aroma. And Nikki, so you're good. saying you just love intestines, I, yeah, right? Yeah, I do. I love intestines. So this is going to be good for you. And now's your pig's foot. Pig's foot. I'm <laughs> excited for this one. I am. And I'm just going light version, normal beef brisket. But we can share everything. Mmm. 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 You know what? I like this a lot better than I was expecting. Um, really? Yeah, it's um, uh, just a lot of flavor. Just mm. in a small bite. It was um, really good. This is so soft. It's not chewy at all. Right. It's, it's just like 
It's probably the softest melt in your mouth intestine that I've ever had. Really? Yeah, and the flavor is so rich. Mm. It's not bitter at all like you'll get sometimes. Okay. You might want to grab one in your hand. Wow. I'm in love with these noodles. How's that face foot? Mm, that is so good. Like the fatty, like the fat just coats your tongue. <laughs> and it's so soft. And the flavor is really good. It's not mm. strong. It's like mild strong. It's kind of a It's all about flavor. the texture, the fatty collagen this, right? It really coats your yeah. tongue though. Yeah. It really just like it just it melts. slides yeah. mm. over your tongue. Cool. It's, it's really good. Next up, we're bringing Nikki and Nels for an extremely strong and satisfying traditional Chinese medicine drink. Sold by a vendor who looks at your tongue and your overall health, Chinese traditional medicine style to make you feel better. Okay guys, so next up, because it's such a warm day in Guangzhou, we're going into a little local neighborhood right down these stairs. There's a traditional Chinese medicine bitter drink, liang cha, and it's really good. <laughs> and what's super unique about this one is that they, they use a custom mixture of different herbs and spices depending on how you're feeling. And she's gonna prescribe a drink to us based on our feelings right now. Here we are, guys. This is famous Cantonese medicinal tea, liang cha, run by Lin Lao Van. Lin Lao Van, how are you doing? Oh, liang cha. <laughs> so this is Lin Lao Ban. This is uh, Nikki and Nels. Oh, from hi. USA. Oh, hi. Hi. Ni kala jinian. Ni mama kala chong jinian. Arshinian. They've been open 20 years here. Oh my gosh, wow. Ran hao jiga dou liang cha. So look at this, guys. This is all traditional. Chinese, Cantonese, liang cha. So these are like different herbal teas. All kind different, of right? And Lin Lao Ban is gonna look at us okay. and decide what's best for us okay. based on how we're feeling. Okay. So do you wanna try first? Sure. Okay. And after having a quick talk with Boss Lin, she took a look at our tongues, asked us if we had any issues, and prescribed us something perfect to beat the summer heat and the humidity of Guangzhou. So this is pure medicine here. <laughs> Chinese herbal liang cha. Yeah. I have no idea what to expect. Try it out. Mm. Oh, it's so bitter. I love oh, it. Oh, that is. It's bitter, right? I love that. I like it because it's not overpowering. Like, it's a strong flavor, but it doesn't like knock oh. you off your feet or anything. You just kind of take a sip, and it's there but it's so soothing. Soothing yeah. and medicinal and herbal and a little bitter. And Boss Lin really knows how to prescribe you oh, yeah. what you need based on how you're feeling. People come here with all different sorts of problems yeah. or not. Some people just love it because it feels good. But if you come with a cold, if you come with anything, she can just mix up the perfect blend for you and you'll feel better. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you very much, Lin Lao Ben. That was really nice. Okay. Shishani. Shishani. Thank you. <laughs> really happy. Yeah. That is that just feels it's so, so cool. good. And next up, we're going deep into a local market in Guangzhou and looking for street food. Finding some incredibly strong Chinese rice liquor baijiu and some of the best fried rice noodles we've had so far. And next up guys, we are going deep into a local market here in Guangzhou. There's a bunch of little street foods and snacks to try. And I know that right up ahead, there's a famous Cantonese fried rice noodle dish, the Gan Chao Nyu He, the Chao He Fen. And it's just right up here. And there's so much going on here. Lots of fruit being sold, lots of meat oh. hanging up. Oh my God. Pretty cool. Yeah. So like in the heart of this. Yes. We are. This is amazing. And we've just found a local little baijiao. Ni hao. Wow, it's all rice liquor. These are wines. These oh are my wines. Gosh. Do people just like take a shot right here? Or they, uh, usually you would they buy a, like a liter or a half liter. So this is baijiao, traditional Chinese white liquor, 55 proof. Oh, nama shao ma. She's worried that we're gonna die. <laughs> She's worried we're gonna get drunk. Can you oh, light no. this on fire? I think that's the. No, Cheers. This is definitely. Cheers. <laughs> Bye, Joe. Shisha. Gambe. Mmm. Oh. It's just like evaporating in your mouth. It's so strong. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh my. And Gaudu. 
Wow, Do that, people drink that just drink straight? Them? It's just, yeah. I don't think I could drink more than that. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. strong, right? That was intense. Kisha. Hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. We're gonna keep exploring this market, guys. Oh, deep in the, deep in the alleyways. And here's the seafood section. Look at this, guys. We got abalone, we got crab. Look at these live dancing shrimp. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Fresh. That is so cool. Yeah, really those are cool. very fresh. Yeah. And we are going to be having a ton of seafood in the next video when we bring you guys for the ultimate seafood meal. Oh, oh man, this is have. so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and as you guys can see, this market is just packed with people, local, traditional Chinese ingredients. And right up ahead, there's a a stir-fried rice noodle joint. Let's go, let's go try it out. And for our final meal, we're bringing Nikki and Nels for some extremely local style stir-fried rice noodles, sliced by hand with a big blade deep in the alleyways of Guangzhou. And right up here, guys, deep in the alleyway is a famous local style fried noodle. Ni hao. So look at this. We're actually chopping up homemade rice noodles here. Zhiji zuo de he fen. So it's rice flour and we're chopping up these homemade rice noodles and we're gonna add them to the wok and have a classic fried hoof and noodle. Dami can show So it's rice flour and water. Oh yeah. And you can see he's steaming it in this metal steamer over here. And then as it comes out, it comes out in these flat sheets and we chop it up and fry it into noodles. Oh, super I've never cool, had right? like these, never. It's super cool, right? Yeah. So you can see we're taking these rice flour sheets right off of the tray here, and then we're just chopping them up into thin, homemade rice noodles. Boom. This is such a unique experience for us. Okay, now here we go, guys. The walk is starting. We're gonna make Okay, come on in. Isn't it nice to watch this? Yeah. This well, frying action? I was saying to him, I can't believe that even like a Everyone's little stand got like it. this, you can, they don't have that in the US. Like, so you can just see that pure wok skill there as he's frying these noodles up. We got the flat rice noodles, bean sprouts, egg, pork over high heat. It's all about the control. And it's really nice to get in the back to see how he does it. Because you can see with your eyes the precision. Oh, and there come the greens. Look at that. Isn't that great? Oh yeah. my goodness. I'm so excited to try that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You can tell he's, he's really skilled with all that. Yeah, he's a man. He's the master yeah, of the rice man. noodle. <laughs> <laughs> um, so he's got carrot and then... Yeah, so he's got carrot and greens and a little bit of pork. Chow me pen. Wow, round hole. There it is. Hi. Hola. Okay, here we go, guys. We got the street chow hoofen deep in the local alleyways of Guangzhou. We got chow mi fen here, which is thin rice noodle, and then we got chow hoofen, which is the fatter version. And there it is, guys. That is the fat rice noodle chow hoofen. So you can see they actually put a bit of gai lan greens, Chinese vegetables in there. Oh, wow. And this is fried over high heat with a bit of beef. Oh, wow. That looks awesome. And then over here, what do you think of that? Oh, this looks so incredible. Good. I'm excited for this one for the sure. Street. And this one's this pork, right? Yeah, this yeah. is pork. So you can see it's, here, it's got, a, got a bit of carrot and pork, greens, chives. Oh, yeah. How? Woman chang chang. Let's try it out, guys. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Whoa. That was incredible. So good. Yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, the beef wow. on that is so flavorful. Wow. And it just, the flavor coated oh, the yeah. noodles. Thai hao That is delicious, isn't it? Mm, oh that's my goodness! Amazing. I yes. love that. And I, I can't believe we just get that in the middle of the market. Here. Right deep in the market, right? <laughs> you can hear the wok going in the back. That is the soul of Guangzhou, right there. And just look at this market we're in. Deep in the local alleyways. You can only get this style, this flavor, in these deep markets. Are you having fun? I am. This is the coolest experience. Like, this is so unique, and I'm in heaven, and I just... 
don't have words for how wonderful this is. Like, everything about this is amazing. How about you, Nels? It's kind of the culture shock element of the whole thing. I'm a little overwhelmed, and it's sort of like, buckle your seatbelt, we're going on a ride. <laughs> we're going for a ride. Know, the booster packs are on, we're just going to hit everything we can. It's okay, I'm we're going going deep. to you. <laughs> so next up, guys, we're going for a $3,000 seafood feast. In the next video, you can click the link in the description below. It's going to be a great video, and I can't wait to bring you guys there. And thanks so much for coming out to China. Oh, thank yeah, you. Thank you, I never want to leave. Thanks so much for watching guys. Check out that video in the description below.